Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lard Butt Gaming. I am Dummy. I'm the fiery end. What's with the voice? Uh, I, it's my TV voice. Well, don't. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you guys? Morning, evening, afternoon, Morning, evening, something. Night. Yeah. So uh, we're back with uh, yet another episode where we ask the all-important question. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, we got a skeleton skull in our base. Yes. The fiery end is out and about in the world, and I'm just kind of hanging out here in our base. And uh, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to make a couple items. i got to tap out for a second. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to see my game menu. I apologize about that. So, um, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to make a little item. I know I've got some apple juice here, and apple juice is pretty good. Um, I like how it does the hunger bar and everything, but I want to make a better item. I'm going to go over that real quick. I'm going to use the same food source for a couple of things. So I need some wheat. So they do have the uh, shift, uh, not sorry, not, not shift at all, but just right click. We'll do the whole harvest and replant thing. I don't know what mod that is. It's been around for a while. Is that is that a mod or is that vanilla? I think it's vanilla. Yeah, I'm. I suck at vanilla Minecraft. You just suck. Well, that's true. So I'm just kind of making a mess of the field right now. These worms cause some uh, frame slowdown when I'm in that field with the worms. My FPS just goes all downhill. Okay, so I apologize about that. If the uh, video seemed laggy there, it is the worms in the field. Um, I've heard it's because of the way the worms redraw the block or the, um, you know, what you're looking at. So apologize about that. So what I'm going to do here is I got some wheat, as you can see. And I'm going to throw it in here, the trusty grindstone that uh, the fiery end showed us last episode. And I'm not going to do too much of this. I just need a couple pieces here. Um, I'm going to turn the wheat into flour. And I'm probably only going to just do like maybe three pieces here. So there's four. That's four. good enough. Okay, so I've got four pieces of flour. Alright, get rid of the rest of my wheat. And then I'm going to show you something here. Alright, so there's a cooked pork chop. Let's throw that. Uh, what I really wanted to show you here was tiny coal. Tiny coal is pretty cool. Normally you take a piece of charcoal and it'll burn a standard eight things in a furnace. You know, you can cook eight pieces of wood, eight pieces of stone, eight pieces of sand, whatever. The cook new... eight pieces of wood? Yeah. You know, turn them into charcoal. Ah. Uh. But, with the mod, uh, actually additions, you can break that coal down into tiny coal, and it's a little bit more efficient. If you only had, like, uh, three or four things that you wanted to cook, you wouldn't have to burn an entire piece of coal. Especially beginning of the game, you know, every piece of coal is precious to you. So we can now do tiny coal, tiny charcoal. It's pretty awesome. My precious. Gives you a one-to-one -one burn ratio without any waste. So nobody gets angry on YouTube for wasting a piece of whatever. So I'm going to cook down the four pieces of bread. And you can see the the, the uh, bread there, the hunger haunches, um, fills the three bars, which is pretty nice. Compare that to the apple juice, it's not as good. The apple juice has got the, what, six hunger haunches? Um, you know, so... Obviously, the bread's not as good, but what we can do with the bread, I think, is better. And I'm going to probably end up using this long-term game down the road. So I'm going to take that same bread. Hi. Hey, fiery end! I'm going to throw the bread right back into the furnace. What happens when you bake bread? Mm -hmm -hmm. Do, you you know? do you know? Bake bread? Toast, yeah. You get toast. Oh. And we can see there, it's a light meal. Pan's Harvest Craft. Yay. Four hunger. Oh, it's just so much better. Toast is really good. Juice is great starting, but then I think you can quickly move past juice once you get enough wheat. And you can start getting some really nice toast. I am a fan of toast. See, that's where we differ. I stick with juice throughout the game. Um, well, I have plans for toast down the road. I'm going to be doing something else with my toast. 
I'm going to be using it for more than one thing, and since I'm going to be using it, I might as well keep using it for multiple things. So, I'll show you what that is down the road. So, now I've covered how to make my yummy toast. That's what I'm going to use for my food. Um, and I've showed you guys mini coal. Uh, the lap so last episode that Fire Ian was recording... Oops, come here, Torch. Um, I was talking about uh, I wanted to make obsidian. Normally, obsidian, you got to go mining all the way down, you know, deep and find lava in the water and... And it can be kind of a pain, but with this cool little uh, Tinker's Construct multi-block here that the Fire Ian built, we can, um, we have Obsidian on demand. Take a bucket of lava. By the way, I found a bunch of Obsidian down in that yeah. cave. Cool. Um, well, until you have Diamond level, you can't really mine it, but there's a trick to that. So if we take the drain here and we put the lava at the top of it, it goes into the drain. Now if we go look at the controller, we can see that there's actually lava in there. And then we just have to grab some water, handy dandy source, do the same thing, put that right in the same drain, and if we go look, it is now obsidian. So what I did um, is I made a sharpening kit. Uh, it's a tinker's item, and I poured it into obsidian. And if you look at my stone pickaxe, it's just a stone pickaxe, but the mining level is cobalt. So you put that sharpening kit, you combine it in a tool station with a piece of flint. Voila! Cobalt mining level, even with just a simple stone pickaxe. Now my durability is really low. Um, may, I, may I mention something at this yeah. point? You can also just take that uh, obsidian out of the smeltery and uh, pour it into the drain, or the casting basin, and get you back a block of obsidian, which then you can use to make, like, you know, nether portals and stuff. Exactly, and we'll probably be doing that, too, so um, I just wanted to... And actually, that's what I'll do, is since I made that obsidian, we'll go ahead and pour it out, just to see. And it will make an actual block of obsidian. And it'll cool down so we have some obsidian. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so I talked about the obsidian, talked about my sharpening stone. But what I really want to do is I want to get my pickaxe upgraded. And I want to make a couple more Tinker's Tools. So we're going to take it to the next level from what Fiery showed. And to do that, I'm going to go get his tool station here. Steal his cobble yet again. Did I say that out loud? No, I didn't. I'm not stealing his cobble. Cobble so thief. I now have his tool station. And uh, we're going to make a couple things here. Um, I cooked up somewhere. <gasps> yeah, I took some of his extra grout that he had made, and I'm going to make some more seared bricks. And I'm going to turn his seared bricks into more seared bricks, specifically three of them. Got my three seared bricks, and I also am going to steal some more iron. Um, I did not smelt down the iron like I was going to. All right, so that's actually going to take a little bit to cook. I was going to do that ahead of time, and I did not. So I'm going to actually show the charcoal in use here. You fool. All right, so take my eight coal. Boom, tiny coal. And now I can top that off, and it'll burn through. So while that iron cooks, how much iron do we have made? Uh, uh, six. Six is not enough. Wouldn't mind so, if you'd sleep here soon. I can do that. With my handy dandy sleeping bag. And don't you want to know how it works? Not really, no. You know what? I'm going to take some of that iron. We have a smeltery. I was going to say, why aren't you putting it in the smeltery? I don't know, because I'm stupid. Dummy. Oh, look at that. Nine pieces of iron pulverizing in the smeltery cooking away got lots of lava still so let's come in here and look at that we got six there i'm gonna convert that into one block that's good let's go see how these are doing oop don't do that with that uh almost <laughs> So I'm not going to pour out nine ingots. This would be nine ingots, but I don't actually need ingots. I need blocks. So that should get me one block. Take out that obsidian. There, we're going to pour the iron. 
We can just uh, dump the obsidian in there for now. The fiery end won't even notice. Let's get some more. Five. I need uh, four. Four more. One, two, three, four. I can count. Everybody get that? I know how to count. Well, yeah, but you act like it's not something you learned three days ago. Well, I do have to use all four toes. <laughs> he liked to play Mumblety Peg when he was a kid. Okay. So we can see I'm uh, smelting the ore down different ways. Um, we have the smeltery down there, and the smeltery is cool in the fact that um, it is an ore doubler. I don't know if he mentioned it or not. I don't I have to be putting the pulverized in. Um, if I were to be putting in just whole blocks of iron, it would be doubling. So we don't really need that quartz grindstone anymore. We are kind of now at the point where we can move past it, except for certain things like, you know, grinding up my wheat. Okay, one more block of iron. I'm going to go ahead and start making this. I'll come back for that iron. So I'm going to take crafting table, throw the iron there. Let's throw the seared brick there. Boom, throw the table in there. Let's go grab that last block. Oop, come here, George. Hi. Bye, Fiery. Bye, Fiery. Still cooling. Come on. I, I like the new animation, how you can actually see the block cooling down and with the tool tip and stuff on the Tinker's Construct stuff. That's new. Okay, now we have a Tool Forge. Tool Forge is pretty cool. It's the next level up, the next grade. You can see now, uh, we'll compare the other Tool Station, which is like uh, the first level. It's wood. And then Did you take forge. my dead gum cobblestone again? No, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. What? What? So this is the tool forge. Um, you can see now we have more things that we can build with it. Um, and what I want to do is I want to upgrade my stone pickaxe. I'm going to turn it into a... Let's go iron. I'm going to need, I think, one piece of copper. And let's go ahead and grab some more iron. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just grab five pieces of iron for now. You know what? I'm going to make another item too. I'm going to grab a couple more pieces of iron. Um, we're going to start with basic metals for now, but we can quickly move on to some more advanced alloys in the next couple episodes. All right, so that's going to smelt down there. So let's take that off. We're going to put that in there. We need to make a couple parts. So I want to upgrade my pickaxe, like I said. So we're going to go here. Um, we need a stone pickaxe head. A shovel pickaxe head. What doll parts did you make out there on the um, table? I don't remember. I'm going to look real quick so I don't duplicate. Okay, so basically... Yeah, okay, so no tool parts. So I'm going to make a bunch of tool casts here, basically. So, real quick, we got that, we got that. We need a tool rod. I'm going to need a binder. You know, if you're feeling frisky, I could use an excavator, too. And an excavator? I don't know if I'll be able to get all that in this episode. Um, already halfway through. We are moving along, folks. Um, all right, so let's go throw all this in. I, when you, I forgot there was a pressure plate. So I've got a bunch of aluminum brass already cast up. So what we're going to do with that is let's do a pickaxe. Now we have a pickaxe cast. Do a shovel head axe. There we go. Now an axe head. Easy peasy. Alright, we're going to go ahead and see what's the other parts that we need so let's see we also wanted to make a hammer move that cobblestone away so that looks like two plates a head and a larger uh, he was talking about an excavator so that's another plate that's that that okay we can make that um, rapiers I think was a nice little 
I like. I, I know you don't, but I prefer rapiers. Uh, it's not that I don't. Um, I don't. I don't have a preference either way, to be honest. Okay. So well, you got three choices, but for me, rapier the speed is is worth taking the hit and damage. Right. We're gonna make one of those. We needed one of those. We needed the larger tool rod. The larger binding was needed. <sighs> uh, come on, go in the, Excuse me. Why isn't that going in the pattern chest? Because you want it to. No, I already made one. I, I messed that up. Alright, so we have an extra one of those. Don't tell Fire End. Um, okay. Let's see, what was the rapier? The rapier was the little ball with two lines on it. Was that the binding for the rapier? Yeah, it takes the yeah, small yeah, yeah. They They all three take the sword blade. So that was that piece. All right, so, and the plate. Where's the smiley face? Smiley face. Okay, so then I'll be able to make, I think that's all the main parts there. So let's finish building those out of stone. Move those up in my inventory out of the way. All right, so then we also needed to make a blade. We needed to make the hammer head, excavator head, the large tool rod, the large binding, um, wide guard might as well. That's the rapier, and there's the plate. Okay, so we're going to keep pouring a couple more casts here. Um, do you care if we just do everything out of iron for now, and then we can upgrade to other parts later? That's fine. So there's that. I'm glad that the uh, cast cool down quickly. Some of them. Most of the cast cool down quickly. I've noticed some of them take longer than others. Oh, I just made another blank cast. Dang it. Good thing there's a use for it later. Excuse me. We're going to be making... I don't know that I'll be able to make all these tools. Um, oh, deck damn it. What'd you forget? Nothing. Nope. Nope. Didn't... Didn't... Did not make another blank cast at all. I did not make another blank cast. No survey. No. Well, that's I, a good thing. No, I did not. <laughs> um, how much do we have? One block of aluminum brass. Perfect. So the extra aluminum brass is now out. All right, so um, I want to do, like I said, upgrade my pickaxe. I need a piece of copper, too. Let's throw some copper in there. Copper does not mix with iron, so that should be fine. Um, so for my pickaxe, I want to do an iron pickaxe head. Um, the binding. Let's see, what do I want to make my binding out of? We're going to do that out of copper, and then I need, ooh, I just had some server lag binding cast. So that's our binding. The copper should be melted by now. Yeah, let's do the binding out of copper. Nighttime's coming up. Uh, yeah, still got a half hour. Game time. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to put you away, I'm going to put you away, and then I need the couple tool rods. we got a bunch of tools we're going to make here. How much iron do we have in there? Nowhere near enough, I don't think. I'm going to grab some more iron and start smelting it. Um, Alright, we'll throw another stack in there. And remember, we're getting ore doubling now, so... Um, we need that. Uh, an excavator. Uh, okay. So now, I need to swap that out for the tough tool rod. Sleep, please. 
Are you afraid? Is there monsters nearby? No, I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, chicken. No, I'm just occupied. I got... Okay, it's the tough tool rod. There it is. Okay, so the tough tool rod uh, uses... How many... I don't remember. Uh, it's either three or eight. I don't remember. I think three. And it's still got enough iron, so... Okay, so that's going to be... You want an excavator and a hammer? Please. Okay, I just want a hammer, so that'll be three of these. Don't mind me, just passing through. I never do. Uh, I'm going to have to count my plates. I don't know how many plates I need to make, and I probably don't have enough iron. Oh, it's the, those other nine. Okay, swap that out. And that was two of these. No, one of those. Two of these, okay. So one of those for the fire end. Come on. Cool down. So making the parts with the cast definitely can take longer. Don't need that. I'll just throw that in there. I didn't do anything. You usually don't, you lazy bum. Nope. There is nothing to see here. We need a lot more iron. The tools I'm making for us now are just going through our iron reserves. Well, I know where there's more. No big deal. Yeah. Well, probably between this episode and the next one we do, we'll actually have to do a lot of mining and stuff off camera. I'm sure. Okay, so that's the one. I need one more of these. Um, I gotta go look at the make sure I build the right parts. So two plates. Plates are going to use a lot of iron. So that's two, four, and he wants one of those. Five. I need five plates. One. go do my pickaxe here once I get this plate and we'll probably continue to make this stuff off the camera finishing all this so okay you know how before Tinker's Construct um, there was a modifier you could put on your tools to uh, make them regenerate you had to get a ball of moss yep. yeah well you can't do that anymore do you know that? Um, yeah it's wood well, no, you have to take, you have to make your ball of moss, uh -huh. but then you have to um, right-click it on a book, book shelf to turn it into, uh huh, a mending moss. Oh, okay. And it also takes ten levels. So I'm showing here upgrading my uh, pickaxe. I'm putting the different parts in. And it turns it from a stone pickaxe. I put the uh, iron tool rod. Gives it a magnetic modifier. The same thing with the head magnetic modifier. And by throwing in the binding of copper, it gives well established. Which, no matter what I'm going to be doing now, will give me EXP. So every little bit of mining I do with my pickaxe will give me some experience. So that's my new pickaxe. Um, I want hey. to make... yeah. All yours. Oh, hi. Oh, cool. I will use that for sure. Uh, we're going to show a hammer. Would. Hammer's pretty cool. We do the two. Oh, I, um, would you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Go grab a plate and pour another plate. It's already on the table. I just need another one. All right, so we need that. We need... So you need two? You need the one that's on the table and another? Uh, actually, I need one, two, th three more. Is there metal in there for it? Uh, there should be. I've been throwing you, iron in. You need four total. Yeah, we might okay. be running low on iron at this point. All right, so once I get that other plate... Here, toss me the plate, please. The one that was done. Thanks. 
and I'm about to give you something you asked for. You asked for it. You asked for this. Now he can obviously, you saw how I put the different parts on, so he will be able to modify this however he wants. There you go, that's for you. Oh, yay. Yeah. Um, what was the... Oh, that was the other... The other thing I needed that for. That is this part, so once he gives me... Oh, I need to make one of those, too. How are we doing on the plates? Anyway? Number two coming, cooling off right now. Throw me number one. Thank you. And I'm going to swap out, make one of these next. And this will be for the fire end. <laughs> Hang on, I'm doing something. I'll be that way. All right, I'll go back and get that other part. Nope, I'm done. That's okay. So is my part. What were you building? It doesn't matter, does it? I am building you. The excavator. Uh, where did the rod go? I thought I had a large. It's tool. in my. It's it's in my inventory. I took it out so put, I could do what I was doing. Put the stuff on. Put put the lotion in the basket. That's yours. There. Now, yay. Now, now, chill for a sec. Uh-huh. And I can do that. Ooh, Stop nice it. luck. I don't think it grows anymore, though. I, I don't know the answer to that, truly. Okay, I'm done with that. I am done with that. I'm making one. Damn it, he took my cobblestone again. No, I didn't. What cobblestone? I never saw the cobblestone. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to talk about your... <laughs> Don't curse, Woody. <laughs> I curse upon you. Cusses. Now I made a hammer for myself. Yay. Um, I wanted to upgrade my sword. What's the iron doing? All right, well, I'm going to continue with this process probably off camera. I'm basically just going to go ahead and we need some more iron and stuff. Um, but I'm going to basically just continue get myself a full set of iron, um, put some upgrades and stuff like that. So I'll have a full set of tinkers. Fire Inn's going to have a full set of tinkers. We're going to go do some mining or resource gathering. And uh, I think I'm going to go look for a base of my own, probably between episodes, and I might have a beginning setup of where I'm going to move to. Probably here in the next episode or two. Uh, you have any plans for the next episode? Um, no, not really. Okay. I probably ought to come up with something, huh? Should. I, I, I have a plan. You have a plan. Yeah, that's what it is. So, uh, I showed you guys some cool things. Basically, a lot of tinkers and upgrading and how all that kind of stuff works. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too boring. A um, little bit of changes with tinkers in 1.10. You know, going across the tabs like I showed and doing that. So, hopefully you guys appreciated that. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring listening to us jabber back and forth at each other. Um, and showed you guys a couple other things. So I uh, would like to, again, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please give us a like. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Comments are always welcome. Um, I don't think we answered the question. I, I'm not sure we know what could possibly go wrong yet. We're going to have to keep trying. Yeah, we'll have to keep going. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time that we go off in search of bacon. Bacon.